Hi there, I'm Josef Botnar and welcome to another C++ video tutorial. In this video tutorial I'm going to talk about installing Visual Studio Community 2017. All of you should have uh, this uh, sort of uh, executable uh, file and uh, double click on it to run uh, the installer. Click on the uh, continue button. This is the installing screen. Let's have a look uh, at some of features of uh, this. There are three tabs across the top. And uh, right now I'm just looking uh, at uh, workloads. And uh, if I don't do anything else, just uh, I uh, click on the install uh, button, I will get the basic Visual Studio core editor. In this uh, video tutorial I'm looking uh, for uh, C++ uh, features so I'm going to install Universal Windows Platform Development, Net uh, Desktop Development and uh, Desktop Development uh, with uh, C++. But uh, you should know there are more other uh, components like uh, uh, Web and Cloud mobile and gaming and uh, other tool sets and uh, if you have a look over here on the right side on the bottom you can see uh, how much uh, hard drive space your installation process uh, will take i'm at uh, 11.08 gigabytes. Next you click uh, on the install button and uh, you will get uh, two progress uh, bar. The first one uh, is uh, called acquiring which uh, is uh, showing us how much those uh, resources are being uh, downloaded and another one is applying progress uh, bar which is showing us how much uh, those um, downloaded uh, resources uh, are uh, being uh, installed. If you change your mind suddenly and uh, if you don't want to continue to install uh, Visual Studio 2017, you can press the cancel uh, button and the installation process uh, will be stopped uh, automatically. You should know the installation process uh, will take a while so you should have uh, patience a bit patience to get uh, to the end of the installation uh, process when the installation process uh, is finished uh, you should uh, restart uh, your computer so uh, click on the restart uh, button here you go uh, this is uh, visual studio community 2017 um, after restoring uh, your computer, uh, you should uh, sign in if you have a Microsoft account. If you not, you should uh, sign up for uh, one to register uh, Visual Studio Community 2017. So uh, let's uh, sign in. Okay, uh, in this moment, my uh, Visual Studio Community 2017 is uh, registered, uh, so I can, I can use it, I can enjoy it, I can uh, practice uh, to program. So uh, that's uh, all uh, for uh, now. Thank you for watching this uh, tutorial uh, and uh, see you next time.